Hey, what's up guys? I'm in Portland. I'm at this park called the Butte. And uh, it's, it's kind of like hike up this long hill in this neighborhood that Mandy lives in. And the trees are, oh man, everything's green here. But uh, I'm gonna do some geocaching today. It just sounds like fun, you know? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Like this house on my my left, your right. This house on your right here looks really, really cool. Does that look sweet? It's like oh, bam. Yeah. So I'm on my way up this hill. I think there's a geocache up here. If I, was, if I remember right. That's what it said on the map anyway. So yeah, we're gonna... I'm gonna try and find like the eight geocaches in this park today. And uh, yeah, should be fun. Let's do it. Alright, I got some geocache spoilers here. It's funny because I found it right away. There's this one right here. And it's uh... From looking at pictures online, it's a magnetic one. I'm like, well, it's gotta be around metal then. I was checking out these signs over here. It wasn't those ones. But I'm like, there's no top to these. And I'm like, well, what the hell? So then, I was like, huh. Is there a, I was like wondering, is there like a bottom to this? And I'm like, whoa, there totally is a bottom. So I decided, take a peek there she is so I'm gonna grab it oh yeah my first geocache found in Oregon oh yeah this is sweet all right I'm gonna try and sign this I don't have anything to sign it with but I'm just gonna wing it this is kind of cool though I like this camo as you can tell, I love camo. Love camo. It's nice and dry inside. Sweet. Let's, uh, alright, I'm gonna sign this. Sweet. Alright. And, there's only a piece of paper in there. There wasn't any trinkets or anything. I wish. I'm just gonna put it right back under. Sweet. Yeah, that's pretty neat. There's a lot more up here. But, uh, if you're wondering what geocache that was right there, it's, uh, geocache number GC4XNEJ. Kelly Butte Park North. That's the name of that cache. And I'm gonna continue up this. This, uh, this hill, it's pretty crazy. The nature here is awesome. All right, time for geocache number two. All right, finally made it to the top of Kelly Butte, Kelly Butte Park. And uh, there's like history on this park, on top of this hill, well, inside the hill. There used to be like this awesome like top secret base. That guy read that there's like, what did it say? A thousand eight hundred square feet of underground tunnel complex type shit. Pardon my language, but it's some pretty badass shit. And here, here to your left, this is where the entrance used to be to this place. I think the geocache is also over there, so I'm about to go look for it. But if you like dig all that crap up, apparently, yeah, there's like a giant door there, but the city long sealed it. I wish I was here when it was sealed years ago. Oh, I wish I was here before it was sealed. But uh, yeah, I'm looking for a fun geocache today. I think it's up on the hill. Well, maybe it's over here. We'll find out. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. 
Wow, this is all that's left of the entrance? Oh yeah, and apparently, after the side entrance over here, well, it's not a side entrance, but there used to be an air shaft. And the air shaft, people used to climb into the air shaft all the time. Just reminds me of back home getting inside some caves. But, uh, I'm assuming the air shaft is this giant block of cement. But, that's just assuming, right? Oh yeah, that's got to be it. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. The moss is cool though. Old, old school, top secret stairs. Whoa, doesn't go anywhere. What is this? Just cause I'm a, ge uh, not just a geocacher, but I'm a urban explorer. I know there's not gonna be tunnels under this, but just for the hell of it. Nope. All right, time to geocache. It's gonna be in this area. Hold on. So I'm assuming it's a bigger geocache. Uh, geocache number GC2NP2D. 44 steps. Okay, yeah, I guess the name, name of the cache gives it away. 44 steps. It's a lot of steps here. But, uh, it looks like it's a big one. I don't know where it might be, though. Hmm. I hope it's a really like super cool hidden top secret geocache. That'd be sweet. Uh, there's no muggles in the park today. That's pretty sweet. Is. I almost thought it was like an automatic stapler, but I don't know, man. Hmm, this is gonna be a tough one. Let's see. Uh, yes. All right. Still. No muggles anywhere. I can't even speak right now. No muggles anywhere. And after about eight minutes, I found it. Check it out. Might be a giveaway, but. Yes, geocache spoilers for days. So I move this rock and listen. Sounds like plastic, right? Check it out. It's under the rock. It's a pretty kind of cool rock. Oh yeah. And there's a geocaching tracking bug in here, so I'll definitely take that and bring it back to Minnesota with me. Have a look inside. Cool beans. Uh, am I weak right now? Oh, sweet. Little trinkets. Things like that. There's a dog in here apparently that's trackable. There's a lot of dogs in here. Where is it? Whoops. Oh, spilling dogs. Uh, well, these are pretty fun. I used to love playing with these. Until I get stuck. Oh, it's stuck. But yeah, this is that. This is this geocache. Pretty sweet. 
Uh, Alright, I'm gonna write some stuff down and put it back and we'll continue on. Alright, so the next geocache I'm looking for... I'm still at the top of the hill, I just put the other one back. So the next one I'm looking for... Looks like it's... Judging by the my map... Looks like it's gonna be... Down here at this like... This like cement wall around thing, I don't know what it is. But I'm kinda interested in finding out. Trying to think how to get down here without falling down the hill. But yeah, it's, I know it's down there, so let's go check it out. I'm like super amazed at how much green is behind me right now. Check this out. Like, there is so much moss on everything. I know you can't really tell in this video, but like, oh, and like down there, it's all green. I need to get down there, get that geocache. So, I'm gonna try and do this without slipping on moss. Uh, this looks like, kinda like a stairs. It looks like an old drainage for, uh, I'm assuming it's the drainage for inside, inside the complex, the underground awesomeness. I wish I could just like climb through that hole and get in. That'd be pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, this is sweet. It's like Jurassic Park or something. Dude, this is sweet. I can tell people have been down here. There's a trail. Oh, oh man. I don't even know what this is. Oh, there's a fence. Huh. Oh, there's a hole in the fence. Fence doesn't matter anymore. And yeah, everyone's probably like, meh, 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 meh. That's trespassing. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm an urban explorer. And the first thing you look for is no trespassing signs. And uh, there isn't any. So it doesn't say I can't. So. GTFO. Oh, right in the mud. Oh, dude, what is this? Oh my god. Oh man, I'm supposed to be geocaching, but I'm distracted right now. Oh, dude. Whoa. Oh man. I think Mandy, my friend, has been here. I've seen Snapchats. I think this is the area that she's been to. Just want to make sure there's no homeless people around here. I don't want to get mugged. People definitely come here and paint. That's pretty cool. It's like storm drains for days over here. Smells like fresh paint. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's a person down there. They have no idea. No clue that I'm up here. Yeah, I'm supposed to be geocaching. And, uh... <sighs> just really distracted. This is pretty sweet. It's pretty neat. Uh... I, th I don't know what this is. I really want inside of it, but... I know the only way probably inside is... I doubt the ladder on top goes anywhere. But, uh... 
Oh. There might be something. Let's go check it out. Alright. I still don't know what these are. They're pretty cool, but... They're... These, there's hatches up here. And they're locked. And I don't have a bolt cutter with me right now. Looks like kids have tried. But... Oh. I want in. I want to know what's inside these. Might lead to awesome tunnels. Doubt it. Who knows? Pretty sweet though. Let's go check this other one over here. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm on the other side. I was standing on top of that thing over there. Came over to this one. There's no thing on it. But uh... I tried to lift it up as hard as I could and I noticed there's like some kind of bolts all the way around on the top here so I think something's bolting it from the inside like it's yeah that sucks but this is only uh, aluminum it's got to be aluminum. You could easily cut through this with something really easy. Like after you, after, after you puncture it, you can like cut. So, when I come back to Portland in a few months, I'm getting inside these. It's happening. It's happening. All right, I need to go get back to these geocaches. It's really cool up here. It's all green. It's all green and shit. But, yeah, let's, let's go find the next geocache. Alright, so, <clears throat> I'm at my third geocache. And the hint for this one was, look up for King Ivy, look down for the cache. And I was like, what does that mean? I, like, couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. So... I'm out, it's like by these trees, I know that. So I, I googled King, uh, King Ivy, Portland, Oregon. I kept seeing a lot of photos of uh, trees covered in like these vines behind me. Uh, this tree here. Like see how the vines are? There's a like King Ivy and that's the one that's really, really covered. But this one's pretty big too because if you look at it, it has these like intense old vines. Like this, this is the king of like ivy vines. I'm assuming they're vines. Well, yeah, they're vines. Anyways, so after like 25 minutes, I found it. But down there's a house down here, and there's a dog that keeps barking, and a person that keeps yelling at the dog. And I'm like, oh man, this dog's gonna give me away. But uh. After 25 minutes, I almost gave up, and at the last second, I was like... Boom, baby. Kaboom. Found it. I'm proud of myself. I almost gave up, but I didn't. I'll get on Amtrak tomorrow, so I'm trying to get a whole bunch of geocache in. I'm pretty excited. Sweet. Sounds like there's a pencil in there too. Right on. Quick reference if anyone's wondering what geocache that was. It was it was a GC4XM3P, the Kelly Butte East. And uh, yeah, this hill. Oh, I'm zooming in. This hill is kind of a pain to climb up. It's kind of slippery, but I'm satisfied. I almost gave up. It took me 25 minutes to find that one. I don't know why. I'm, I lost my geocaching instincts for a little bit there. But, uh, yeah, I found it. Alright, so this one, it took me a little digging, but I, I found it. The hint was uh, <clears throat> a small pill bottle at the base of tree, which is it's pretty common. Usually there's like a hole in a tree or something. But this is geocache number uh, 
GC4XM3V. This is the Kelly Butte South geocache. I found it. <clears throat> yeah, it's at the base of the tree. It's right here. And, uh, yeah, I literally just found it, like, laying right down here. I'll put it back. Except that spot was, like, it was kind of in the open. Like, someone didn't hide it again really good. So, I thought it'd be cool if I stashed it, like, over here. And then get some vines back over it. Looks good. Got one more geocache I want to hit up before it gets dark here. It's supposed to rain again soon. And my friend Mandy's getting off work soon. That's why I'm visiting. Uh, yeah, this, oh man. These woods are just insane. Oh yeah, there's like a homeless encampment down there too. It's kind of sad how everyone just trashes this place. Such a beautiful state, and people just trash everything, you know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a dumping ground or something. Oh, uh, but yeah. Now I gotta walk in all the way on the opposite side of this park for one of my last geocaches I'm to grab. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna make this happen. Alright, so, <clears throat> coming up on my last geocache here. And I was over in this part of the park uh, last week, like twice. And, uh, whoa, I'm zooming in. That's what happens when I don't pay attention. But, uh, yeah, there's like this thing out here, and I just don't, I don't know. It's daytime, so I'm kind of sketched about it, but there's a geocache near here, so it's obviously safe. I just can't go inside the fence. If you could see what I'm looking at right now. I know, okay, so they said it has something to do with the uh, water, so it's like a, it's like a reservoir, they store water underneath this thing. I know there's tunnels under it, for sure, but this is what I'm looking at right now. So I know there's tunnels, and I'm like, dang, and I also spotted this awesome hole in the fence that just, it says, hey, come in, come right in. But I'm like, damn, I can't. Why well, I can, because I'm an urban explorer. It does, doesn't mean anything. But then I saw this sign on the fence. And it looks like a pretty, uh, the sign is intimidating. But it, I, I don't see it anywhere else on the fence. I don't know what the laws here are, but it's supposed to be like every like 10, 20 feet. But, uh, something hardcore. But, uh, yeah, I know there's something awesome undergroundness over there. But the geocache is this way, so we're gonna go this way. Well, that's cool. Nice little hole in the fence. Alright, pull out my phone here. One sec. Alright, <clears throat> so right now I'm at geocache uh, GC4. XM37, the Kelly Butte Park West. And uh, I'm staying at the stump. I haven't tried to look for it yet. But uh, the hint was small, small stump with small holly. I think they meant to say small holy or something. Looks like, I don't know. But uh, oh, let's poke around here. I also heard something in the woods over here, like a big branch falling. So I don't know if there's like homeless people sneaking up on me or something or what, but I gotta get this over with before the homeless people come out to get me. So, small hole in stump. 
I don't like these things either. These are sharp. They hurt. Ow. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice quick one. Seems a bit wet. Bunch of trinkets. Oh, that's cool. Found it. It's nice. Nice little geocache. Alright, so I'm gonna mark my find and get back out of here before it gets dark. And I know there's some rain coming in soon, so. Oh, I hear people over there. Alright, let's get this over with.